Hi, welcome to SBR Sports Picks. I'm Peter Loshak. Today is a Thursday, May 26th. We are talking right now with SBR contributor Dana Lane. NHL playoffs, Dana Lane, Game 7 in Tampa Bay Pit. And there's kind of a lot of interesting stuff to talk about with regard to this game. The first thing is that, that we have to mention is that Tampa Bay has just been undervalued this whole series. If you bet on them every game, you'd have won three, lost three, and you'd be up by now. And here they are again in Game 7 as just a huge underdog, plus 180 to plus 190 market-wide. My first thought is, you know, I don't expect Tampa Bay to win the game. I think Pitt probably wins the game. But at these odds, I'd have to either bet on Tampa Bay or, or nothing. And then uh, also we've got four straight overs. We had four straight overs in the last four games in this series. And we have a total of five and a half here. And I'm wondering if uh, maybe we might not see a, a, a lower scoring game here as both teams play a little bit more defense oriented, a little bit more uh, conservatively. I'm thinking maybe a shot with the first half, uh, uh, sorry, the first period under at just minus 115 at Penny, minus 120 or minus 125 in other places. Dana Lane, what's your take on this game? Should Pitt be this big of a favorite? Uh, well, uh, unfortunately, the market has made them this big of a favorite. I mean, they opened up at un under a dollar or $2, but uh, the market has definitely pushed them up in that 210, 220 range. And, and certainly, Pete, like you, uh, like you said, I mean, we don't want anything to do with a 220 favor. Uh, in fact, uh, with with the Tampa Bay pedigree and, and versus Pittsburgh, I think it's at least worth a look to take the Lightning. That's not going to be one of my official picks. But hey, look, you know the Penguins organization has not won a Game Seven on home ice in 25 years, and are just seven and seven in the last 14 uh, attempts at a Game Seven. They've lost five straight Game Sevens, and four of those that are at home. And they're facing a Lightning team that's won five out of their last six Game 7s, including last year when they went into Madison Square Garden and beat the Rangers 2 to nothing for the uh, for the right to go to the Stanley Cup Finals. And look, uh, Pittsburgh has the depth. There, there's no doubt about it. Uh, even if you look at, into their fourth line, you know, guys like their rookies, like Connor Sherry, who has two points in his last two games, uh, is, you know, gives them tremendous depth. And they certainly have the advantage there. We also see Sidney Crosby, who looks like he's 100% finally, because, you know, remember, he took that slash from Ovechkin and became a defensive player, a little bit more than an offensive player. But I think, uh, I think he's finally back and being the old Sidney Crosby. Do, they, do I think they're the better of the two teams? teams absolutely uh but i have no uh, no desire to lay two dollars uh with a team that um you know we have seen throughout six games or at least even with each other so what we're what i'm going to do tonight is uh i'm still going to stick with that over in fact i'm mm -hmm. all in with the overs uh even at five and a half i'm going to take the first period over one and a half at plus a dollar five over five and a half plus 115 which is not the best of the line but We'll take it. And then I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm not confident enough in Tampa Bay for the whole game, but I'm going to go and take them at minus $1.43 plus a half in the first period. So I definitely, definitely can see a scenario where I figure it to be one to one at the end of one, and mm -hmm. that would give us the uh, that would give us two wins, and we would be well on our way to the over. I feel like just in general, and tell me if this is not uh, how you see things. Maybe we see it more in uh, in the NBA, but I feel like if you have a playoff series that's been relatively high scoring, going over, and then it goes to a game seven, uh, my first instinct is to always expect a lower scoring game and to lean under. Is that not the case with you in general? Uh, I try to take everything game by game. I mean, we we saw in the Blue San Jose series that you know that theory wouldn't have held true. And I, I right. talked to a sports book director yesterday, Pete, and I asked him. I said, you know, there seems to be a lot of overs, uh, but yet there seems to be an unwillingness to get off of those fives. And now we've seen our second five. Uh, interesting enough, with the same goaltenders and the same teams. But um, you know, I said to him, my point was, you know, after the strike. The rules have changed, yeah. And, and and there's no you know no two line passes or you know there's uh, there's no offsides off of two line passes anymore. And on top of that, in the playoffs, you, it is very typical to see thirty five to forty shots. So why would the why would the line not be five and a half? And he said, you know, it's just about public perception. You have two great goaltenders, and people just automatically think under. Well, I still think you have two very good goaltenders tonight, but. Uh, these games are way too wide open for me. Yeah. And, and if it goes under, Pete, it's not going to be because there's not opportunities. Awesome thoughts. As always, Dana Lane, we have seen four straight overs in this series over the last four games. Thanks so much for your thoughts and, of course, your picks in this Game 7. Thanks, Dana.
I appreciate your time, Pete. Best of luck.